attempted it, and lost their minds. Venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the mother of all Bunga fruit. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds, and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. Heavy. Collect seeds from the giant punga plant. Giant punga plant. Oh, it's way over there? Aw, oh, man. Um... Little Tyke Playhouse? What? Okay, well, I guess we'll explore these things on the way. More exploring. Um, what's my, uh... What's my, uh, power armor looking at? Oh my Jesus, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to go and get this repaired. Because... That's gonna hurt. So... Uh, house... Wait, who was it that repaired stuff? I think it was this guy. I think this guy had a repair skill of 100. So we'll go travel over there real quick. Uh, my computer is actually broken, so you have had to buy games for your Xbox. Uh, and you've been playing Fallout on there. Game of the game of the Year Edition. You have played one DLC. Um, yeah, you didn't look it up for a guide. Yeah, I usually... I generally don't... Um, look up walkthroughs and things when I play games for the first time but sometimes sometimes you just got to sometimes Always you have good to, to see y'all here to buy something but yeah I mean you might be able to find Fallout 3 the game of the year edition pretty cheap for for Xbox been out for a while unless Microsoft is greedy and it's like no you got to pay 20 bucks for this game still I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix why well, we have all these bottle caps here. <clears throat> uh, I can repair my weapons on my own, so I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so that's all repaired. Let's go ahead and do a hard save here. Hard save it, and then... Um... Oh, it was truck wreckage. Herder, I thought it said train wreckage. No wonder. That shows you how close I pay attention to things. Uh, we'll come up here and... We're going to have to go through the swamp. So I guess we'll just travel here. I think it's like $15 or 6 Yeah. I mean, it might be, you know, kind of kind of high now but maybe in like another week or two maybe they'll start having sales because um, you know people for late Christmas shopping and stuff might be able to, to find it somewhere for, for pretty cheap uh, let's go to the trash heap let's go there trash heap but there was another viewer um, who uh, is looking into getting yeah, Fallout 3 and, and probably an Xbox to play. Um, they they haven't really played uh, newer games. They've kind of played like older stuff. So uh, first of all, it's a big step, and second of all, that's pretty cool that they uh, they uh, stopped by the stream and enjoyed uh, the way that I played it and seeing. You know the possibilities of how they can play it and go everywhere so that, that definitely got somebody else interested in it as well uh, but these are these are really fun games like I don't know why you're in the standing in that for oh my god uh, slot is back again but these are really fun games. You could spend a hundred hundreds of hours in these games if you want to do everything. We like we already have like um I think it was like eighty five hours in this already. So and we have it there's there's still a whole bunch of other things you can do, but I probably won't do everything. <laughs> 
Like, I'm not doing a 100% playthrough or anything like that, but, yeah. Crash heat. They have it for $15, and it's just the base game. You're going to go to the store and find the Game of the Year Edition? Yeah. Definitely try and get the Game of the Year Edition, because you get all the DLCs in that. Um, that's kind of lame, though. The DLCs are really fun. Like, I mean, they don't have any relation to the main story. They sort of have their own separate story, and... So far, I mean, this is a <clears throat> this is our last one, and I've I've really enjoyed all of them so far. Ouch! Yeah, lock picking there. God dang it! I, it is the same exact spot. Okay, that was worth it. Maybe. I mean, for. Bobby pins. We need fission batteries. Uh, lever action, no thanks. I don't need drugs, so no thanks. That was freaky. Uh, let's see here. We don't need to do that. Um, we can do the turtle thing like a little bit later on. I don't have to do it right now, right now. Let's go to the Trapper Shack. Maybe I can put an end to this guy once and for all, because... This bro just keeps on living. Um, the DLC in New Vegas hints at other DLCs in the main story. It's cool. Yeah, I've heard that it's a, it, it kind of... You can't really pick and choose which DLCs you want to do, because it all kind of flows with the main story. Uh, unlike this one, where you can just kind of pick and choose what, when you want to do it, whenever. Um, which I think the New Vegas way is kind of cool as well. So, uh, but uh, we'll probably we'll probably start New Vegas in like a month or two. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> I just hope it doesn't crash as much as three does because uh, this has crashed. So many times. And that's why you gotta save and save often. But I, I mean, I think the reason that it... It, uh... Crashes a lot is because... We've done, like, some modding on the PC. Like, we've, we've added stability mods, which really haven't helped. Uh, and, like, graphic mods to make it look a lot nicer. So that's, that's really cool that, that you can do stuff like that, but, you know, I mean, we've, we have had some problems. Uh, it's been quite annoying, but <laughs> we've managed to survive 80 plus hours of it, so. Take a shotgun. Alright, Trapper Shack. Let's go in there and see what's in here. Come on, boys. Oh my. These people are crazy, man. These are in some insane... Crazy, crazy mother truckers. Wild Punga Fruit, yeah. Well, oh, we need to take the yeast as well. Yeah, these guys are like part of like some sort of... Um, I don't know, like... Cult or something. It's empty. Double barrel shotgun. Oh, I could take that and repair mine with it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened here. Take the yeast. I think we have enough yeast now. Um. By the way.
Uh, fission battery. Yeah, we need fission batteries too. Um, I don't see anything else in here. I like to have the light off most of the time, so that way you can just see the natural lighting because it looks so much better than the bright pit boy light where it's just like, yeah, it's too bright. It's too bright. But yeah. Uh, I feel you will really like New Vegas because I honestly love the unique weapons and outfits. Like, there's a pistol in a safe in the beginning of the game, and the pistol is called Lucky. And it has the highest critical rate in the game. Wow. Right off the bat, huh? Yeah, I'm, I think I'll like it. Uh, I'm really interested to go back to the West. Um, because we haven't been to the West since Fallout 2. Um, but the fact that it's in the, sort of the Vegas area, and I think there's... Somebody said that there was either it was a DLC or part of the game where it kind of takes place in Arizona, which is where I'm from. Um, so that would be kind of cool to see, you know, in a Fallout game. Like, this is the Arizona part or something. Uh... Uh, so those crazy people that we killed outside and in the house, they have a basement where they, <laughs> that guy got wrecked, where they have swamp ghouls and a Mirelert King in cages for some odd reason. Yeah. Fury, what's up, man? Swamp life is, uh, it's, it's gross, man. It's pretty gross. Oh, the Swampler Queen. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, look at the... Look at her eyes. Wow, this is such a creepy setting right here. You can spit at me all day, girl. It's DLC, you think? Uh, or it goes to Utah? It's, yeah, it's one of those, I'm sure. Fallout 3, Redneck DLC. Come on, let's get it. Let's go. Come on, let's go get it. Come on, let's go. Come on, we gotta eat, we gotta eat all these, uh... These feral ghouls and stuff. Come on now. Yeah, there was some pretty sweet music when we, when we got here. Like, there was, like, some harmonica being played. There was, like, a banjo. Like, this definitely feels like the South. Um, in North America, of course. Uh, I've never been to, but, you know, <laughs> there's, the closest I've ever been is, like, um, areas like that in the Disney theme parks, basically. Um, that's a Deathclaw hand. Death claws, man. Death claws. I'll take. We need fission battery for the moonshine. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. I kind of don't want to kill that Mirelert Queen because that's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, but we'll see. There we go. Well, since it is Swamp, it is more Cajun than Redneck, but who <laughs> cares? It's in the south. That's all that. Same thing. Yeah. Where can I get some of that jambalaya? This is activated from somewhere else. Uh, okay. Oh, it's right here, probably. Hi. All right, girl, I gotta put you down. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen, but I can't. I can't allow you to live. Death to the queen. Wait, which one were you? Uh, this one? Yeah. Ah, well, it is what it is. 
We've got some moolah. Yoink, I'll take all that. Now let's open this, open these safes. Yeah, we're, we have to, we have to go and get some fruit. Um, to get into this sort of, uh, cathedral. Um, where like these, we have to get information on these tribals and, and all this stuff for this ghoul who owns a mansion. I mean, I, he may not own the mansion, but he, he is the current resident of the mansion that we helped out yesterday. Um, we had to save him from, uh, all the tribals that were breaking in. So we were basically inside the mansion going from room to room and tribals were breaking in from the ceiling. They were breaking in from other doors and stuff. It was, it was pretty cool. It was a really cool, uh, little scenario that we had to complete, but that was really, really good. Um, uh, but yeah. Other than that, there's just a lot of crazy people out here. Uh, these mines were not here when I came. So... Just saying. Oh. Uh, yep, and then, then you got these people, people like this, that... <laughs> Come on, everybody, he's right here. Come on. Let's get him. I saw his eyeball. I legitimately saw his eyeball. Creeper, yes. This is who I remember. It is actually in Maryland. Yeah, Maryland is like... Uh, it's sort of up there by Canada, actually. Pretty, it's pretty much in the Dave area, pretty much. It's up there. Far on the east coast. I legit, I almost died right there. Do 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 do. Gonna do. start up Fallout and hope it works. I hope it works, man. Hey Fury, have you ever seen the movie called The Goonies? Have you ever seen that movie? Just curious. Uh, so we've checked out Trapper's Shack. Let's remove that. I want to go and check out these remaining locations before we, we go to the Sacred Bog entrance. Let's go and do that. Flooded Sinkhole. That doesn't sound good. Oh, come on. That's that's hitting him. That's some boulder dash. Y'all look the same. Y'all got the same names and everything. You have seen the Goonies? Okay, well, um... Okay, both of you, both of you have. Um... There, there is a, you know, like we've seen the Creeper, uh, whatever the other guy's name is. Um, there's a guy in here that his name is the Tracker. He looks exactly like Sloth from the Goonies. Hey, you guys! That guy. <laughs> and we've encountered him three times already today, and I encountered him yesterday and said the exact same thing. So hopefully we'll see him again so you guys can see. But Sloth from the Goonies is in here. 100%. We should probably wait. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and wait. I hate how... Why does the, the day go by so fast in this game? Ow. Oh. Mm. 
Let's see. Okay, there's somebody on. All right. Come on, Sloth. I know you want to come. The Sloth. This is all I'm all I'm seeing is a scrapper. Scrapper and creeper. That's all I'm seeing. Now that I want Sloth to appear, he's not. Oh. Oh. Lil Tyke Playhouse. <laughs> so one question is Marilyn no for its rednecks or no? <gasps> Uh, I actually don't think there is any. Maryland is known for their crabs. <laughs> so... I don't think so. I don't think... I don't think so. <laughs> but I don't live there. I don't live on the East Coast, so I can't say. But all I know is... I think this is more of like... Yeah, it takes place in Maryland, but it's more like focused around like the south uh, like Louisiana and like Alabama and stuff like that. I think they just combined the two really. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, okay, so let's look around here. Wow. That is not nice. Some some little girl doll just, you know, got impaled on... You know, like a branch or something. These, these people here are crazy, man. Like, when I start seeing this, like... You know they mean business. When they're stabbing dolls... That's, you know, that, that means business. <laughs> uh, fission battery, yeah, we need fission battery. How many fission batteries do we need? Uh, let's repair this. Fission batteries. Six fission batteries, how many do we have? They weigh a ton, man. Oh, I never, I never set my bobbleheads. We're gonna have to do that. Uh, we've got six. Okay. So no more fission batteries. Well, punga fruit we need. Oh, yeast as well. Yeast. Point look, point lookout is described in the wiki as the place the bombs didn't actually fall. What the world has left behind. <laughs> wow. That's a really depressing description there. What is that? Red racer jumpsuit? Yeah, I'm taking that. Wild Punga. Is it Wild Punga or which one do we need again? Refined. Okay, so we, we want refined. I don't want those. This is a bed I can sleep on. Uh, okay, local map. Not local map. This one. So we don't need... We remove, the, remove that. Uh, let's go to the grow, growers. Grower shack. And then the jet crash site. And then sacred bog. And then pretty much... The only locations that we need to go to is over here, which we'll probably be directed to. And then Turtle Dove Detention for that Chinese spy quest, which is probably going to be really cool. Dude, we have to go on the... We have to go on a submarine and pretty much blow it up. It's exactly like Fallout 2, kind of. Except we're working with Chinese people instead. The SS Osmandius. What's the main mission here? Well, the main mission 
is walking with spirits. Really, we came up, we got here, um, the main thing was to go check out this mansion. We went to the mansion, there's a ghoul by the name of Desmond. Um, we, as soon as we got there, he was like, come on in and help me, because we've got uh, tribals that are trying to, to, uh, to kill me or whatever. And so we had to go through the entire mansion and clear out the tribals that were attacking. Um, and then so I guess he, he gave us the quest to go investigate tribals in the cathedral. Which I guess is like, they're kind of like insane, I guess. Um, and I guess he wants to put a stop to it or something. Uh, that's kind of really all that we, we, we know at the moment. Pretty much stop stop this uh, cult or cult uh, for rituals or something like that. I don't know. It's crazy. Hmm. Uh, no, we need refine. I probably shouldn't pick that up. But as we're like going to to the destination here, um, oh look, there's a bridge over there. Uh, we're kind of just exploring these these other locations on the way. Cause there was there was a lot, man. Like this map, this is pretty large for like a DLC. This is kind of like its own little area here. Like, way larger than the pit, uh, and pretty much like Anchorage, because Anchorage was kind of linear. This one, you kind of have free roam. Water tower. I think it has something to do with these, uh, these plants here. I think the plants kind of make people go insane. There's no way I can get in here. It's not. All right. Well, let's see who lives here. Rower Shack. Rundown Shack. Oh, I think that's sloth. Guys, here we go. If you like the Goonies. Here's your boy Sloth. Found ya. Hey, you guys. Shoot his arm off. Are you lost? Exactly. It's exactly Sloth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I melted. Mm. What was in there? Oh crap, I took everything and I don't even know what was in there. Uh, let's drop, let's leave that in there, that, my alert cakes. Pork and beans, I don't need. Sugar bombs, deviled eggs, squirrel stew, I don't need. I don't need any of that stuff. Uh, as I read the landscape of Point Lookout is between 1 6 and 1 5th the size of the capital wasteland, so it's rather large. Yeah, this is a pretty large area. Um, which is Which is why I knew that when I started this yesterday, we weren't going to finish it. Um... But we did manage to put like, you know, kind of like uh, like a good hour and a half into it at least. So hopefully we'll be able to finish it today. Um, like, I mean, we need to make sure we finish it today. <laughs> it might be a long stream, maybe, but we'll see. Uh, let's listen to this tape here. Box 1213, Burns Voice. Oh, is this for the bank? They have these deposit box in, in a bank uh, by the pier. And the only way that you can open these boxes is you have to, it's its voice recognition. Um, so if we have a tape here, maybe we can get into it. Don't tell Evelyn. The password? Buttercup. 
Why? Buttercup? Giddy up, Buttercup.